Alright, so it's January 13th, um, it's about 12 o'clock, I came in probably around 9, um, I had to go and get my glasses adjusted, um, they weren't just quite, quite right from when I first got them, so I had to go get that adjusted, um, now I am parked, I was studying for a bit, I gotta run over my notes again here, and then I have an appointment at 1.15, and then after that, I gotta study some more, so my midterm's tomorrow, oh my god, my midterm's tomorrow, oh, I'm really nervous, um, with my anxiety, I get very anxious and shaky, and nervous about things, um, I feel like, I feel like I'm not smart enough to do these classes, but yet my last class I passed with, I passed with an overall grade point, a grade of 72, I got 81% on my last final, which I thought I probably like failed, but I got 81% on that last final, um, now I'm in another class, second year, second year level, um, of psychology and um, again I feel like I don't know the material I feel like I'm not smart enough that I can't remember enough um, but yet I do and I am smart and you know I can remember this stuff my brain's just going every which direction with it um, so yeah that's the deal with my exam um, it's only Monday today. Um, that officer that I go for coffee with, he's uh, he's back on Wednesday nights. Um, I hate that he's on nights. Um, he's been on nights the last couple times, and it drives me not drives me insane, but it like it's hard for me to to catch up with him and go for coffee because I'm not really in town late at night, so. So yeah, it makes it difficult. Um, that team from the police station that I met with for coffee a couple weeks ago, um, I left them a message last weekend and to call me, and they didn't call me all week. Um, so I called and left another message, uh, I think on Saturday, and it's Monday now, and... I still haven't gotten a call yet. I don't know. They always call me closer to the end of the day. So it's just a matter of waiting now. Um, I hope they call. Because, I don't know, there's some things that I want to that I wanna talk about. Um, regardless of, like, how, how I'm acting, whether I'm, like, I seem okay. Um, deep down, I'm not. Um... I'm trying to put on that brave face. I'm trying to put that mask on to, I don't know, to fool myself maybe. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Is it to fool my parents? Is it to fool my family? Like, what is it, what is it for? Why am I doing it? And I don't have an answer to that question. I don't know why. Um, I actually went and bought stuff to cut with and like bandages and stuff. Um, that's where my mind is heading. My mind is heading that way, but yet I'm putting on that mask. I'm acting like everything's okay. Maybe it is to to fool myself, to fool myself into thinking, no, I'm fine, and maybe to fool myself into stopping myself from cutting. Um, I'm tired of wearing that mask. I'm tired of pretending, but you can't not pretend. In society and with family that doesn't understand and stuff, like you can't, you can't pretend. You're just lying to yourself. And it just makes things worse. 
but yet here I am doing it. I thought, after a while, I thought, you know, maybe I'll make myself feel a little better. You know, I got my new glasses, I got a haircut, you know, trying to just make myself feel better. And I don't know, it's not really working. But, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's so hard. It's just, it's like a puzzle and a maze all mixed into one and... You can't figure it out. You don't have a map. You don't even, you weren't even given directions. You don't have directions. And you don't know where you're going. You don't know how to f do the puzzle. It's, I don't know, that was a really weird example. But it's, it's true. It's, you don't know where you're going. You don't know how to put the pieces together. It's just hard. It's very hard. Yeah. It's the only reason why I don't is because, and it's difficult for me to do it, is because when I'm down and I'm in that moment, I my brain's not not working. It's right. running with those thoughts so bad that it's not working on. Okay, what can I do? It's just, as soon as that happens, as soon as I'm there, it's automatically, I need to release these feelings now. And it's like, cutting is the only way I can do it. And it's not until after that I think, okay, maybe I should have done deep breathing. Maybe I should have, you know, yeah, that's, done whatever. That's why. Okay, so I'm done my appointment. Um, as you can see, I told him some stuff that I just told you guys before I went to see him. Um, like, he says that I need to practice distress tolerance stuff, um, you know, before I actually get to that point where I'm freaking out and I want to cut. Um, it's really difficult. I don't, my brain doesn't even comprehend doing that you know practicing those skills before I hit rock bottom and it's really difficult to do and I just it's so frustrating because you know he's telling me something that can help and I just can't comprehend it I can't change my brain to think okay let's do this you know like Sorry, I had a red light. But yeah, like, I just, I can't comprehend it. It's just, it's hard to deal with. It's hard to deal with. So now, I'm gonna go back to the place where I was parked before, and I'm gonna study some more. Um, yeah. I guess that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. Alright, so it's about 10.30. Um, I'm going to call it a night because I have to go work off. Uh, not work off anymore. I don't have to work off my hours. But I'm going to volunteer because um, I still have to finish the project that I was doing while I was working off my hours doing fine option. So, um, I gotta get up early and go do that tomorrow, and then my exam tomorrow night. So, we'll see how that goes. See you tomorrow.